in life, everyone is entitled to one do-over. And today, I'm calling it. I call it do-over, do-over. Today, I will be doing a quick update on the Redivus RB23 waterproof GMRS handheld radio. I did a review of this radio the other day, and this is an update to that review. You can watch that full review right there. But wait, watch this, then go and watch that. I will keep this video very short and to the point because if I don't, everyone that has trouble grasping complicated concepts such as sarcasm will all stumble over themselves to leave comments saying that I didn't keep the video short and to the point. Just when you think you've seen the dumbest comment on YouTube humanly possible, some other moron comes along and says, oh, dumb comments? Hold my sippy cup. You may notice that I'm not wearing my Redivus t-shirt today like I was in the previous video. It's not because I hate Redivus, it's because I dripped mustard on it. So today I'm wearing a new Radio Dork t-shirt. Now, it is widely known that I have about as much fashion sense as Captain Kangaroo dressed for a Grateful Dead concert, but I do know good Radio Dork fashions when I see them. And that's why I'm happy to announce the only Radio Dork Fashions approved by me that you can now purchase yourself. Affiliate link below. As you may recall, the other day I did a review of the Redivus RB23 waterproof GMRS handheld walkie-talkie. It is not a bad radio. It can squirt a good number of FARs. It is waterproof. I tested the waterproofness. It's rugged. It is not a bad little radio, but I did have a few nits to pick with this radio. The main ones being that out of the box, it comes set with CTCS and DCS tones codes on every single channel. And every channel is also set to narrow band, even though I thought it was a wide band capable radio. This means that if you purchased this radio, you could not talk to any other GMRS radios without first going in and removing those codes and optionally, optimally changing it from narrow band to wide band. If you purchased two of them, they would talk to each other fine because they all have the same CTCS and DCS codes set on them out of the box, but you would not be able to talk to any other GMRS radios. And because it does have the simple interface, I, I do like the simple interface, no screen, no controls. The only way to change any of those settings, the only way to remove those CTCS and DCS codes or to change it from narrow band to wide band is to use the programming software, which you also need that $10 programming cable for. My biggest issue is that I was not able to get that programming software. I was not able to download it on two different computers using multiple web browsers. All I ever got was the option to send Redivis an email asking for the software. It would not download. So I used that option to send Redivis a, an email message through their system and nobody ever responded. So I was softwareless and I could not even get in to see the software to see if it was any good or not. Now, several hours after I posted that video, I received several emails and messages from loyal viewers that they were able to go and download the software from the Redivus website with no issues. So later in the evening, I went back to the same computer. I opened up the same web browser. I went to the same Redivus website. I clicked on the same software download button and it downloaded fine. I don't know if something on my computer changed or if something on the different web browsers I was using changed or maybe something at the Redivus website changed, but I now have the software and can now run through it and show you how well it does or does not work. Now, also, please allow me to point out that there are other ways I could have gotten that software. I could have asked my Redivus rep to send it to me, and there are many technical hoops that I could have jumped through to get the software. But I firmly believe that when you purchase a radio from a company, everything should work as expected. I believe that when you click the download software button, the software should download. And if it doesn't, it is my job as a YouTube reviewer. I have taken an oath as a YouTube reviewer to let you, my favorite viewer, know that things do not work the way they're supposed to. So when I review a radio, I'm not just reviewing the bits of plastic, I am reviewing the entire experience and letting you know how the entire experience as a whole 
works. So if something doesn't work right, if something doesn't work the way it's supposed to, I'm going to point that out. Because I do these reviews through your eyes, not through the eyes of some wire head expert. I'm doing them through the eyes of a normal person. So to program the Redivus RB23 radio, you will need the $10 cable. It does not, according to the website, it does not come with the radio. However, when Redivus sent the radios to me, they did include a programming cable. Now, a couple of things that I do like about this radio. When you remove the door, there's a screw on the door. This door is required. This hatch is required for the waterproofidity, waterproofness. When you remove it, the screw stays in the door, unlike some other brands where the screw just drops out and rolls under the refrigerator. The cable has a thumb screw, which also does not come out, or at least doesn't come out easy, easily, so you won't lose that under the refrigerator. And it does connect easily. No tools required. And when you load up the software, you will see that it is pretty much written in the same Chinglish as the user manual. And the software has options for the squelch, the battery save settings, programming the side buttons, just as you would expect. Now, the reason we're here is because I currently cannot use this radio to talk to any other GMRS radios because it is polluted with the CTCS and DCS codes on every single channel. So you do have to go through and remove those codes on every single channel. It is tedious and it is a pain in the bitch, but it only takes a few minutes. Once you do it and save the changes back to the radio, you'll never have to do it again. You then have to go in and change all of the channels from narrow band to wide band. There is only one problem. You can't. I was not able to change any of the channels from narrow band to wide band. No matter how many times I clicked, double clicked, up and down clicked, right clicked, left clicked, the software will not allow me to change any of the channels from narrow band to wideband. I thought this was a wideband radio, and maybe it is, but I am not able to get any of the channels set to transmit in wideband, effectively making it a narrow band only radio. So if you have two of these radios, which are both pretty much stuck at narrow band, talking to each other, not an issue, but talking to pretty much any other GMRS radio in the world, which is almost certainly going to be at wideband, it may not sound right. Now, there may be some way that you can hack the code plug by opening the .dat file in an XML editor, and translating all the Chinese labels into English, and then changing the hex values to... So please, all you computer dorks out there waiting for your day to shine, you don't need to leave a comment telling us, just do this and just do that. You don't need to try to impress us. And finally, using the software, I was hoping, because it was unclear in the sparse documentation, it was unclear if I would be able to add more than eight repeaters using, or add repeaters using the same frequencies with different tones. I cannot do that using the software. So you're stuck with the eight repeaters only. If you have two repeaters in your area that use the same frequency and a different tone, you're out of luck, you're going to have to choose to use one or the other at a time. So now that I've used the software and can reach the full potential of this radio, does it change my opinion of this radio? No. If you have questions about the Redivus RB23 radio, or if I left something else out, you know how this works.